What's up Minecrafters, Koal here. In this video, I'll be going over 22 hive tips and tricks. In Sky Wars, always make sure to mine five redstone hearts and then eat a golden apple, as that will give you the maximum amount of seven extra hearts. Pair this with several spells of life and you will never lose a single fight. The death run poison trap can be really annoying as it will basically kill you immediately but there is an easy way to avoid this trap as on some maps you can use the glass blocks around the edge to get past. Definitely make sure to use this trick next time you play death run. Now there are many ways to avoid fall damage in treasure walls such as perfectly timing a jump on a boombox or even an otter bridger. But there is another secret method to negate all fall damage. When jumping from a height, try and land on the spawn block and by placing blocks just as you land, it will cancel out all fall damage. You can identify a spawn block as it won't let you place any other blocks on it. This is quite an obscure secret, but it is also very useful. Talking of ghost blocks, you can use items like boomboxes and campfires to escape the survival game's boredom. By perfectly timing your jumps, you can stack them and escape the map. Although I don't recommend doing this, as it could get you kicked from the game. Now this one is quite obvious, but make sure to always report hackers, as not only are you improving the game for other players, but if you successfully report someone who is breaking the rules, you can get up to 200 quest points as a reward. There is a secret glitch that allows you to see your friends who are appearing offline. By going into a custom server and inviting your friends, it will display people even if they are appearing offline. What if I told you that you could get kicked from the hive just for mining one block? On the Christmas themed Skywars map Gingerbread Town, if you mine a blast furnace it will kick you from the server. Sometimes this will take a few attempts and you might have to mine several blast furnaces in a row. Shout out to the YouTuber Savage Games for making an amazing video on this, I recommend you check it out, link in the description. And massive thanks to Pengu for also helping me with this. The slash Q command is a quick way to queue into a new game, but it can also be used to confirm future games. For example, typing slash Q Sonic will display the message that you cannot currently queue for the game. This small secret can be really useful when trying to work out future Hive game modes. Yep, this thumbnail is not clickbait, as there is actually a way to fly in Treasure Wars. By building a one by one column and then throwing snowballs up into the air, the next player to walk into the column will be launched up. This is hilarious and it is also a great way to prank your friends. On the topic of treasure wars, there is a secret bridging method with auto bridges called down bridging. It does look very scuffed, but it can also be useful if you want to get under the map. In Blog Party, there are two settings that will help you out massively. Going into third person and turning up your FOV to the max will help you see more blocks around you, leading to a faster reaction time. This simple trick will help you to become a block party pro. In Treasure Wars, your fists actually have silk touch, meaning you can break blast proof glass and it won't be fully destroyed, as normal glass would be in regular Minecraft. This is a really helpful feature if you accidentally misplace a block when building your treasure defence. There are many shortcuts in Death Run, for example in the map Terminal you can skip a whole part of the map and at the start of school by timing your leap perfectly you can skip an entire trap. These tips and tricks are used by many professional Death Run speedrunners. Here is a secret trap that can be used in survival games and Sky Wars and not even Evident knows about this one. It's common knowledge that if you place a frozen boombox next to water, it will turn to ice. But this also means that if you land on the ice, you will take full damage. This can be used to trap players and kill them from full damage on the survival game's map Flashpoint in the water below the big crane. In Treasure Wars, when going for your side rush, always bridge up a few blocks 
as it will make it harder for the other player to get to your island. This simple tip can save your treasure from being destroyed during the early stages of the game. Also, always upgrade your gold generator as fast as you can, because it will help you out massively as the game progresses, allowing you to buy more blocks and tools. In the three new murder mystery maps, Remnants, Chroma and Pigment, there are several unique power-ups that can help you win the game. From invisibility, to armour and even an extra arrow, these can give you the edge and can be useful whether you are innocent or the murderer. Block drop can be a pretty difficult game, especially if you are stuck on the bottom layer. But if you save your leaps, you can use them to climb up the layers, even saving you from falling off the map. So my advice is that you hold on to your leaps and only use them towards the end game. With the Panic Kit in Skywars Kits, you are given a spell book called the Spell of Shielding. Not only does it protect you from taking PvP in full damage, but if someone hits you while you are protected, they will take knockback once the spellbook effect wears off. This feature can be used to push players into the void or even make them fall into a trap. There are so many ways to clutch and negate all full damage in the three main PvP game modes, Sky Wars, Treasure Wars and Survival Games. I have already covered a few of them in this video, but there are so many different and unique ways to clutch, so I recommend checking out my video on clutching, link in the description. But before I end the video, there is a secret and underrated method of clutching in Sky Wars. Usually when you fall into the void, it's instant death, but if you throw an ender pearl and place blocks to stop you from falling, you can clutch on one of the islands. But on some maps, it's really difficult to find a flat surface to place blocks, so instead, just place a cobweb. It gives you valuable time to catch your bearings and place blocks under you to stop you from falling into the void. Trust me, I have started using cobwebs to clutch lately and it is so much easier. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe and join my Discord server, link in the description. I'll see you all later, goodbye.